previously on Judgment. Actually, in that case, I don't need to listen to my smooth jazz. You have been spared of smooth jazz, Mr. Kitty. I know, you and your fucking death metal. It's all you ever listen to, okay? And it doesn't heal me, it only hurts me. And now, back to... Go B, back with some more judgment. When he last left off, Yagami got the living shit kicked out of him, only for him to get up and kick the shit out of all of them. <laughs> and it was fucking awesome. And then of course the little mask dude came out and saved us, and it, it sort of hit me actually. I was like, so this guy knows our name, and I, I, we've seen that hair color before, right? Wasn't it the guy from um that that ended up being a witness in the that one trial? He had sort of a similar colored hair, at least based from what we can see on the mask. Uh, so maybe he's helping us? I, I don't know. Or maybe the younger guy that works at the law office up here? Possibly? We haven't really gotten to know him terribly well. I don't know, though. I mean, it would be kind of unusual just because this guy seems kind of like he's almost fearless, right? The other guy kind of ended up kind of pushing out, right? I don't know. It just seems like if that were the case, he would have gone and taken matters into his own hands, right? If this quote-unquote sister was was uh was kidnapped during the trial he would have just been like oh, okay i'm gonna go out there and do some shit i mean i guess it could be like well he couldn't leave but it just seemed just based on personality they don't seem to totally match up quite right i also wonder what the significance of that was you know the other guy was just a witness for that one crime why would he also be this mysterious man here by the way uh you might have noticed i i probably sound a little bit different than i did uh the last few episodes and that is because i have finally gotten myself a new microphone so i have switched out from the uh blue yeti which is a usb microphone and i've moved to the xlr microphones which is a bit of a step up um this is the sure sm7b and uh it's really nice it's like i really uh i'm very glad I finally uh i got one of these you know sort of moving on up i guess but in addition to this i also got some additional little doodads that help to uh to uh make the set make it sound better um including removing uh, a lot of the echo in this room. Now, there is still probably going to be a little bit that you might uh, still hear, um, but I think that'll go away once I finally get this room decked out with shelves and stuff, which I plan to do uh, sometime this week uh, to get go buy some shelves. But I think this sounds really good, honestly, and I hope you guys think it sounds better. I, I think it makes my voice just sound so much fuller. Um, certain parts won't sound super quiet like they did before, and... Uh, my lab parts will constantly clip or peak like they did all the other times before. I don't know. Let me know. I I, I would love to know if you guys actually think it sounds better. I, I hope it does because <laughs> this thing was not cheap. But yes, it's like so this combined with uh, with the little doodads I have as well as Adobe Audition helps to uh, make the best vocal audio uh, possible, I think. And I, you know, I, I know it wasn't like my audio before was bad, but I've just I've want to keep trying to up my game and, and improve my overall production quality. I also will say I really actually like the, the shape of this mic better too because the, the other one, uh, the Blue Yeti is incredibly heavy. It's so heavy in fact that it kind of like brings, it brought down my like microphone stand that was holding on ho holding on to. And also the pop filter I used to cover it always like blocked a good chunk of my face but this one has one that's just kind of built into it so it uh, it's a lot less, uh, a lot less clunky. But that said, the Blue Yeti has been the one I've used for like probably five years now so it's it is a great microphone and honestly if you're looking for a excellent usb one it, you'd look no further than the blue yeti oh hey it's another one of our friends we was walking around we haven't uh hi there oh it's the, it's my landlady there we go hey all right so we got somebody else walking around that isn't the cat guy I was like, oh my god, somebody different. Finally. I still don't have the money for the rent. Well, actually, technically I do. I have like half a million yet, but I'm not giving it to you. Anyway, last episode, uh, Jazz the Axolotl said, <laughs> Nico, how do I start a friendship event with you? You want me to eat everything on the menu? Is that it? Employee. Sir, this is a McDonald's. <laughs> oh my god. That's so fucking awesome. That is absolutely what I do every time I walk into a Mickey D's. I'm just like, I'll eat everything on your goddamn menu. Now be my friend. And it works every time. This is how I have so many so many friends in the food industry. <laughs> but Jazz, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it is for that reason you are comments of the day. I mean, technically, you know, when you think about it, the Mickey D's, but what you mean, the Happy Smile Burger place, which is, uh, uh, wait, wait, can I not befriend somebody there? Or wait, N no, no, this one, this one has a friendship event. This Smile Burger does. So it's totally possible, all right? That's what, that's what all these Yakuza S games have been teaching me, okay? 
This is how you make friends in the real world. And if you don't know that, then you are just living a sad, lonely existence. But anyway, you guys told me some things. First off, the the heat action to do... Well, I was trying to do the uh, uh, tossing someone in the street or something. Whatever the street heat action is. Um, it's apparently over on Shichifuku Street, so I guess it's going to involve the cars that are driving by. And then... Or specifically, there's one on West Shichifuku Street. I, I don't know. I couldn't tell. It's not like you guys were saying there were two different ones. Like... Like one that you just do anywhere, and then one that it has to be like over here or something. So, so we'll try and go do that later. But for now, let's go report to Kaido since I'm like right nearby anyway. Oh, hey, they fixed my door. <laughs> they fixed it fast. Remember those bat the guys with the bats? Didn't they break it? They work fast here in Japan. Hey, Kaido, I see you. Don't worry, I make my way over to you. Yo, Yo. That's right, we met Higashi. That's right, we met Higashi. That's right, we met so I mean, I really changed a bit. I'll start after the break in that Ka Kaido san kicked out, which seems like I'm going to maybe try to solve here. What do I came of all that? Okay, uh, this doesn't seem to be a, an interview thing since, uh, I don't seem to any, I don't see an icon on the top, right? About the stolen money. Oh, you guys also pointed out the, um, that scene with him cutting his finger was actually, uh, similar to the scene from Yakuza Zero with Kuze, where, uh, basically, Kiryu got expelled, right, from the, uh, the Tojo clan, which meant he didn't have any loyalties to, uh, to Kuze, so now he could actually beat his ass. <laughs> so similarly here, now that uh, Kaido wasn't part of the, the Masagani clan anymore, he didn't need to cut his finger off, so... Clever. I like the parallels drawn there. Really? もっと詳しく聞きたきゃ、20万出せって言われてよ。その時は持ち合わせがなかったんでな。それっきりで。じゃあ、綾部に聞けばいろいろわかるわけか。金はかかるぞ。奴は今なら天台にいるはずだ。
Oh, they gave up. Oh, wait, no, they didn't. All right, screw this. Oh, wait, wrong one. Coming at you. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys did also tell me, apparently, I actually should try to get arrested by drawing, drawing a fight out for a long time. I'm not going to do it this time, but um, it, it isn't a game over. Okay, okay, good. Then I'll uh, I won't worry about it next time. <laughs> but apparently, uh, it's if you do it enough times, something something happens. So, all right, I will uh, I will attempt to do that at some point. You, you don't say. Uwasaja, kono mise ni aktoku keikan ga daily shite ru te. Ano na, uchi no kaku ni sonna no inai yo. Where does Yasuo want to talk to me and give me any missions? Ayabe, kite nai. Soki, kuru te renraku watta yo. Sore yori tabo, chao da yokatta. Oh, here we go. Sozu, tanomare te hoshii shigoto ga anda. Shigoto? Yagami tantei jimusho, kamuro chou ichi to mikon de. This is where it finally unlocks. So yuare ru to, kotoari zurai na. You know, just how to butter my biscuits, man. Masuda's always had a way with words. There it is. Okay, he doesn't have a ton, though. At least compared to some of the other ones. Okay. Oh, this one actually related to the Penny Thief on the loose. Befriend Har Haranuma. Hmm. Uh, all right. I uh, heard that Yagami Detective Agency is the best detective agency in Kamurocho from the Master of Tinder. Come to the Hills Garden on Park Boulevard. Now, if it means you finally get to talk to me. Alright, I got a few side cases that popped up over here, too. Alright, might as well go befriend another dude here. Got the Ikanari steak place, which I haven't eaten it yet. I'm gonna do what I always do to make friends. Go in and eat everything on the menu. You know, Samase. All oh, right, you guys also told me so that one that that one place I went to that had the raw meat. I was like, do I just eat this? No, no, no. What they what? It's like a Korean barbecue place. So you they they bring the the meat to you and then you cook it yourself on a little grill that's on the table. I see. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. I'm like, I'm like, am I crazy? I'm pretty sure this shit could fucking kill you. Really, yeah, that's looking pretty raw though. That's less rare and just more raw. That's how rare I like my fucking steak, bitch. Mmm. Well, no coupons. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not leaving till you be my friend. So, how's the food treating you? Oh, it was delicious. Awesome. I'm really glad to hear that. Just so you know, we use a special method called fresh aging to prepare our steaks without them ever seeing a freezer. No wonder it's so soft and succulent. Though mine was a little, uh, pink on the inside. Yeah. Not only that, but our beef undergoes a rigorous selection process to ensure that only the best reaches your table. Even though the price is so cheap. Hey. Absolutely. We do our utmost to best serve our customers the highest quality meat for the lowest price possible. Wow. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Nita! Huh, President Chinose! <laughs> so sweet, man. What the fuck, dude? It's almost time for your meeting, so please come back to the office. Oh, interesting. Is he like the head of a big corporation? Oh, Motomura kun. Is it that time already? Huh? Wait. You're the guy who runs this place. Ah, yes. I apologize for not mentioning it sooner. I'm Kunio Ichi Ichinose, and yes, I do run Ikanari Steak. Oh, oh, okay. No, it is for this company, I see. Wow, president of the whole franchise. Oh, it's a chain, I see. What are you, what are you doing here, then? I thought, I didn't, I didn't realize that this was just a local place. My customers be the judge is what I've always lived by, so I came to get a feel for how this place is running. Gotcha. Now you weren't just another employee. Pardon me, but we really should get going, sir. Ah, that's right. Sorry, sorry. By the way, what's your name? Yagami. I'm Yagami. Yag Yagami-san, I appreciate you dining with us today. Please come back and enjoy our steaks again. Will do, man. Damn. 
talking about getting down and dirty. It's a fucking president. <laughs> that is shit. You just do not see these days. <laughs> you do not see the head of a big chain get down there and fucking cook with his hands. With his worker man's hands. Definitely. Well, goodbye. I think I met the president of the franchise. Mmm, now to enjoy that sweet, sweet SP. That was a guy right next door. Might as well go talk to him, too. Oh, for f seriously? What are, did the did the encounter rate go up or something? And like the after the last chapter? Ah, oh, you yeah, fuck off, all of you! Oh, my kick and I missed. Wait, wait, we're in the street. Come here, bitch. Get in that motherfucking car. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Ah, uh, Yagami being a buddy. No, I'm not gonna let you die. I'm not gonna let you die. But I will kick your ass. Okay, wait. How close am I? I, I think it was over here, so... Hey, man, come over. Come over this way. Come on. Come on. Yes, yeah, sir. Chase me. Chase me, bitch. Or maybe if I do... Or may I have to do it in, like, my super X boost mode. I don't know. Oh, this one is different. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. That was the best fucking heat action in the entire series. That was amazing. What the fuck? Oh my god, cat guy, did you see that shit? Dude, did I see it? That was hype as fuck. You come over and say hi to me. Domo. Domo. Oh my god, that was... <laughs> oh my god, that was so awesome. It was so awesome, so hilarious. I, I wonder, who who are those guys to him? Were they, were they his bosses? Or just another gangs? Or just some form of yaks? I mean, I figure these guys are yaks of dudes, right? Thugs that I'm fighting. Or just random dudes, either way. Clearly got guys who are uh, way above him. <laughs> and then he, so he gets, he dodges it, he gets pissed off, he kicks their car, <laughs> and they pull him in there. And now they're gonna go take him, murder his ass, and dump his body in the river. Ah, beautiful. Remember though, guys, Yagmi never killed anybody, all right? That was totally those guys. I just pressed triangle, that's all. That's all I did. <laughs> oh my God, those were both amazing though. Wonder why that one only happens. That one only happens in that that uh, section, huh? All right, let's go talk to uh, this guy. Oh. Uh. Wait. What? <laughs> Greetings, sir. Would you care to see some breasts today? Is this the guy from that from before? <laughs> it is. What the? What? Wow. You know, it's funny. I didn't realize just how tiny you were compared to me. I'm taking some world-class lady loves here. Knockers that will knock your socks off. Some incredible inflatables. Damn you, okay? What? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yosuke-kun? Huh? Oh, Yagami-san. What the hell were you just asking me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, uh, you see, I'm actually working part-time as a barker. Oh! That's interesting. Mm -hmm. So, okay, I actually get to befriend him outside of his detective thing. Or out of, outside of his case. You probably had to start, well, yeah, clearly you had to start that case before you could do this, though. That's cool, I, I, I like that. God, how old is this guy supposed to be? Is he just really short or is he very young? Wait, what? I thought you were supposed to be, to be a student. Hi. I am. In fact, I'm going to a vocational school right now. Well, then why is a vocational school student working as a barker? <laughs> oh, a lot of students do this kind of work. It's easy and it pays well, you know? Do they really say that as a barker? You want to see some boobs? <laughs> you want to see some breasts? I mean, I guess they're like, the cute girls are the, you know, the ones they're seeing and stuff, but I figured they were a little more subtle than that. Like, hey, you want to see some pretty big anime eyes. I don't know. <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Oh, I think I want to see some big old jiggly anime eyes. Mm. Maybe true, but I must say, I'm not all that impressed with your career choice. Hey now, this is actually a very important job. You're gonna become the next of the Twisted Trio. You realize that, right? They're gonna turn into the, the crazed quad. A noble undertaking even. Oh. So I will ask once more, are you ready to witness the honkiest hooter experience you've ever had in your life? Eh? Dude, do these terrible names work on other guys? They're certainly not working on me. <laughs> Wait, there's actually a reason why I'm doing this. Call it a greater purpose, if you will. I'll even be beg if I have to. Well, he does seem to be pretty earnest about this. Just play along. 
I can always take a quick piece. Show me them titties. Let's do some weird camera photography minigame like Kwame 2. Uh. <laughs> I want to see some tender cleavage. All right, you're at least tr trying to take this seriously. So give me the club's name and let's be done with this. Oh, great. Thanks, man. Oh, wow. This, this was going to take a while. Uh. You're not doing this because you're low on money, are you? <laughs> what all that money I gave you for those cases I took? No, it's just nothing to do with money. My family's actually pretty well off. Besides, there's a there are bigger, more bodacious issues at stake here. Wait, no, you paid me. What am I talking about? Mm. I'm curious about this issue of yours. <laughs> I'll save those details for later. First, let me introduce you to the finest young hostess that Camarcho has to offer. She says that she's lovable and she has a good heart. And top it all off, your first visit's on me. Eh? I hope it's not your sister, because this is going to get weird. <laughs> I mean, I get you were trying to hook me up with her before, but this is going to take it to another level of weird. You go that far just to get me into your club. Hi. To get you to meet this girl, I practically do anything. R really now? Really, really. In fact, I'll let you order the most expensive drinks of the club, all on my tab. And you can afford all this. How? <laughs> Dude, I make cash money on this job. I'm talking like 500,000 yen, 500, yen a month here. Eh? Nani the fuck? You can earn that much pestering pedestrians about breasts. I had no idea barkers could be so loaded. What have I been doing my whole life? Yes, sir. This job's all about results and titties. And oh, just between you and me, the trick is to come up with as many euphemisms for booze as you can. <laughs> Gosh, just eat that shit up. That actually works? How many do you have? <laughs> well, there's jugs, j juggle, jigglers, jumbos, bosoms, biggins, bazongas, love bubbles, blouse biscuits. <laughs> Should I keep going? Blouse biscuits. Oh, I like that one. Mm. Gonna butter me up some blouse biscuits, baby. <sighs> that was more than I ever need to hear. <laughs> Righteous. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Anyway, what I want you to do is head to Apple Pie over on Tunkaichi Street and ask for a girl named Madoka. Okay, Madoka-san it is. Right. Also, tell whoever's on duty there that I'll be footing the bill. I'll be chilling at the smoking area inside Camaro Theater. So let me know how it goes when you're done. Okay, will do. Okay, so I just head there now? Is that like, what was the name of the place you want me to go to again? Oh, Apple Pie, right. Oh, I have a reason to go there now. And they were like super mean to me last time I was here. All right, we'll do that later. First, let's go to the Hills Garden and uh, do this other side thing. Oh, this guy's back here again. Wait, I'm gonna talk to you first. Oh, Yagami-san, it's good to see you again. Good to see you too, President Ichinose. I guess I don't have to eat at your place every time I come and visit you. Are you here to supervise again? That's right. After all, my management philosophy has always been that customers be the judge, wasn't it? Bingo. You got it word for word. Heh. <laughs> Let me ask you something. When you think of a successful manager, what qualities come to mind? A successful manager, huh? Let me think here. Someone's extremely innovative. Someone who rakes in the profit. Someone with authority. Someone with a lot of subordinates. Um. Someone who's extremely innovative. I'd rather say a manager who can create something both innovative and useful. Not everyone has that kind of mind. I see. Was I wrong? Well, when I think of what a successful manager should be, I think of someone who puts the customer first. Eh? What do you mean? For example, I've created a restaurant that doesn't make the customer choose between quality or affordability. Oh my gosh, inspirational music. Instead, we get the customer both. And that way, the customer win wins both ways. I wonder if this is a real chain, actually. Oh, actually, there's a... There's a photo of him right on the wall there. Oh my God, is this, <laughs> this music? Is this is this actually a real chain? Is that the real guy right there? Is that and that's the real, the real guy in the game too? You're right. That is a good deal. And if our customers feel that they're being put first, then they'll keep coming back. What that means is, it, what that means is, if our customers win, as far as I'm concerned, so do we. It's been my philosophy since our restaurant first began, and that's a great philosophy to have. No wonder they made you president. Ha! What can I say? <laughs> if they, if this is a real chain, this is a wonderful ad for this place. I want to go eat there right now. I'm flying to Japan just to eat at this place. P president Shinose, you're here again? Don't you the fuck? It's almost time for your meeting, you fat asshole. We need to get back to the office right away. Mm -hmm. Oh, Madam Arakun. It's that time already. So I didn't make you rush. I'll be leaving now, Yagami-san. So I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, same here. That is one beautiful man right there. 
Successful managers want to put his customers first. That way, both parties win. Sounds like a great president. I still thought my way was better. No, the guy who rakes in the profits is the best guy. The guy who makes lots of money and gets chicks. Boom. Savage alchemy. All right, let's go to this place. Oh, for... Yeah, I swear. I, I think the encounter rate's higher now than it used to be. Wait, wrong one. Here, have it. Hold on, my hold on to this for me. Bah! 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 That was a sturdy trap. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was like, wow, that trash can didn't break at all. No, wait, yeah, it did. I think I have the key for the store. That was. This is where the the dragon casino was, I think. So that probably means I'm going to unlock it again at some point. I, I think from the previous Yaxa games that that is where this was. If I am remembering correctly. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? Okay, this is this is starting to turn to Yaxa level encounters. Walk two feet. Bad guys. Ah, oh, get out of my way. Why is everyone so angry at me? Actually, oh, it could, oh, it could be. This actually might be Hammer's guys looking for me. That, so actually, it might be a sore reason why I am running to uh, more thugs than I did before. So this actually kind of makes sense. But whatever. They all need to die anyway. Ah, dick kick. Appreciate the money, though. Thirty dollars. You hold now on me, bitch. Uh, where are you at, man? Up here? That's where the client told me to meet him. Oh, shit. Oh, it's the mask, guys. Detective Yagami. Are you my client? Uh. Yeah, you can call me Crow. Mm -hmm. That mask. Are you in that group of thieves everyone's been whispering around lately? Why? You wouldn't stitch if I was, would you? We may be thieves, but we don't steal from the righteous. Just the bad guys. You know, like Robin Hood. And because they're bad, it's not a crime? As for a judge to decide, not me. <laughs> really? You're more of a goody two-shoes than I thought. The barkeep attender told me this was a request from one of his regulars. But he knew I'd turn down a request from a thief, so he lied to me. Damn, that's cold, man. Come on, man. I come to your bar all the time drinking all your shit. And you go do me like that? Here's the thing. I protect my client's privacy, so you can rest easy about that. If you're trying to get me to help you steal something, I'm not accepting your case. Okay, that suits me fine. Because, because all I want you to do is find someone. Find someone? He goes by Jester. I don't know his real name. So he's... Oh. Yes, he's one of ours. But I haven't been able to reach him for a while. I think it's safe to say he's missing in action. You know what he looks like? As his name suggests, he wears a Jester's mask. <laughs> Kinda hard to miss. Oh, really? Oh! <gasps> know exactly who that is that's a oh interesting okay i didn't think it was actually gonna come back tie back to that guy oh all right I, i'm actually really i gotta say i'm really liking these um how they're they're doing this in previous yakuza games they always felt like there were these moments sometimes where uh you just kind of get these random side stories that didn't seem like they, they tied into the main story like at all um and i mean they weren't bad they were still enjoyable but they sometimes just felt sort of out of left field like the the writers didn't know how to squeeze it into the main story but this time they're doing i feel like a really good job of like okay i get this seemingly random side mission but that still ends up tying to the main story and uh characters involved in it and uh, i think that's really good it makes it much more uh engaging and uh because you already have an investment in it so this guy is that really that's not gesture smash man it's v for vendetta get it right and v for vendetta is actually this other guy that you guys told me about at one point it was I, I, like, it was really interesting. You just told me it was like he's like some guy that was actually kind of a joke, and he was like killed for something or something like. And so then, why did people wear his mask if he's a big joke? I thought he was supposed to be some cool savage badass guy. He's just a meme, like Richard Nixon. You were like the Richard Nixon mask. Actually, yeah, Richard Nixon was the same way. There's there's the big cheesy Richard Nixon mask, and he was kind of a kind of a meme of himself, wasn't he? That's how you live on infamy, guys, right? As a fucking meme mask. One of our guys screwed the pooch, and we ended up needing to run from the cops. We only managed to get away because Chester distracted them. Hmm. Sounds like a hell of a friend. That's when we lost touch with him, though. But he's way too good to get captured. And that's what makes his silence all the more perplexing. Sounds like you have a lot, a lot of faith in him. He's our ace in the hole. He's smart, professional, and really good. 
So, if he's in trouble, we need to be there for him this time. The generic looking mask guys agree. I see. I'll pay you 50,000 yen. And don't worry, it's clean money. That ain't shit, man. I was curious about that guy myself. If I take this job, maybe we'll cross paths again. Huh. All right, I'll accept the case. <laughs> then it's a done deal. We'll be expecting results. Underneath the mask. <laughs> then Persona 5 song starts playing. Do, 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 do. Wait, how should I get in touch with you if I find anything? Come back here when you find something out. We always have someone watching the spot. We'll know when you come, Yagami-san. I see. We're always watching, for I am the knight. I am Crowman. So long, then. And he just shoots up into the sky. Ah! Oh, okay, I guess what's that call him Crow? More than just the mask. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck, guys, wait for me! I think a group of notor notorious thieves find their buddy. This is life, if not an adventure. Where do I even begin? I guess it wouldn't hurt to check out the spot where I saw him last. If I recall, that was the building behind Tenkaichi Street. Let's move. To the Yagami Mobile! Oh, Snake Guy's back in. Oh, wait. No, it's this, uh, his little buddy. You're Yagami san, yes? Just wanted to say thank you for talking to the president whenever he's here. I know he's fucking annoying and weird. Um, you were. Uh, oh god. Uh, I think it was Motomura san. Motomura san? That's right! I'm President Ichinose's secretary! You're always rushing in here to find the president, even though you're nearly out of breath. Yes, the president's a very diligent man who often visits the stores to check up on them. Is that so? What hardworking guy? Mm -hmm. uh, wait, you're by yourself today, Motomura san? Yes, I am. The president told me I should watch and observe as well. He said I might learn something. That's why I've been standing here like this all day. All day long. People keep thinking I'm a mannequin and taking pictures with me. Hmm. What if I tell you to tell you something like that? Beats me. All I know is I don't have time to be loafing around here like this. What do you mean? If I'm not around, then who's going to manage the president's busy schedule? Only I have to know how to make it all work. <sighs> Since I playing the president's every move is more complex than it would seem. <sighs> yeah, and thanks to me, the company's still running in the first place. <sighs> Nani? Madam Maracoon, I'm sorry, but you're mistaken. <laughs> Oh, oh shit! The voice could it be? Behold! <laughs> it's Santa! Whoa! Since when did you get here? I've always been here. Maramurakun, haven't you heard the saying? Whoa! Wonder if the real president of Ikenari Stake said that. To him, you owe your gratitude can be cause for peace or strife. Do you understand that meaning behind this, Maramurakun? To whom we owe you owe? Who even says whom these days? The fuck? You see, Motomura Kun, I appreciate your hard work every day. You always go above and beyond. Arigato. Thank you for that. N no! It's my pleasure. But you're fired. <laughs> you shouldn't only credit yourself either. Gratitude is best when shared with others. Not only kept for yourself. You mustn't forget about everyone else who makes this business possible. Mm. I want you to realize this by looking at the way our staff members work. But they're fucking dirty peasants, sir! You're right. My have just been felt so busy that all I could focus on was myself. Sorry for what I did. Or said. Oh, there's no need to apologize. Just glad you understand where I'm coming from. That'd be hilarious if you just fired him right here on the spot. And that's, this, that's how this story ends. <laughs> yes, from here on out, I'll be turning over a new leaf. Indeed you will. So I'm having you relocate to this branch for a month. Effective today. Okay, I'll... Wait. What? <laughs> Remember how inspired you were today. That passion will help you survive the monotonous hell that is customer service. Besides, working like this builds character. <laughs> oh my god, he did! He got demoted! Wouldn't you agree? <sighs> like built stress, what? Fuck you, sir! I learned a lot from you, President Ichinose. In order to run a company, you just gotta be a massive prick to everybody. That's right, yagami san You have learned well today. Now go get me my motherfucking steak. Gratitude's best share with others. Those are wise words. <laughs> ah, it's a little more than common sense. Now that Motomura san has learned this at that's himself, I'm sure we'll refine his character a bit. Hmm, I think so too. This may sound odd, but soon I see myself as a parent rather than a president. Not only do I want it, my employees to be happy with what they do, but I also want to see them mature and grow as people. Though I'm sure not all of them feel the same way. Ah. 
Well, I'd say it's fine either way. Thanks, young Misan. Behold! I learned absolutely nothing, old man. Oh, that, that's not good. What happened? Forgot, I have an important meeting today. But Amarakun usually keeps track of my schedule. Maybe really is the driving force of the company. <laughs> uh, well, see you later, Yangmi san. Oh, please come back and enjoy our sticks again. Sure thing, take care. What, no bonus thing off your menu, man. There he goes. They had a strong presence about it. I think it's to meet to his meeting in time. And I gotta get back car. Now I better be careful where I place my gratitude. Now I'm thinking for these stakes for one for one. Okay, I didn't even actually see this dodge roll move. Oh yeah. It's not quite as fast as uh, Curious was though. And then the quick step this quick step move. Which is that move! I remember Kiri having a similar leaping punch like that, too. Uh, Alright, well, run by a small burger. Might as well go do this one, too. Uh, I already have everything on the menu, so. Send me a smile burger! Oh, hey, you over there! I don't mean to startle you, but c could you show me your smile? Mm -hmm. Huh? Why? Well, we decided to host an event that fosters friendship between small burger and the local community. Uh, allow me to explain. First, each of our guests can take a small snapshot with one of our small staff members. Then we'll post that snapshot up on our official small site. <laughs> and finally, our other customers can go online to vote on who has the winning grin. Simple enough? Eh? Wait, you're going to be uploading our pictures online. I didn't sign up for this. Actually, you did when you signed the waiver that comes with every one of our patented smile burgers. Oh, what? I thought that was for a gift card. Damn it. <laughs> yes, and to compensate for this blatant breach of privacy, <laughs> the winner gets first tips at trying our secret menu. Still have to pay for the food, though. Uh, <laughs> so, after forcing us to smile and uploading our pictures online, you still want to take our money? <laughs> Sounds like a win-win to me! Um, sir, could you maybe turn that frown upside doodly? <laughs> I'm gonna turn you upside doodly in a second. Why don't give us a smile instead? Uh, man, all I want was a burger. How do I get out of this? Come on, don't be like that. How about taking a picture with yours truly? The name's Hane Ida, by the way. <laughs> no! Fine. Alright, fine. I'm a sucker for a secret menu. Gotta get all the completion points. Great, let's get started. We're gonna take this one right right off front. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna carry you princess style while you do peace signs to the camera. Kawaii to stay! <laughs> and let's see that handsome smile. I know, you try laughing. Oh what the fuck? What is this? How to take a selfie? Open the camera app, uh. Oh, he's in the, yeah. You change the army's expression as follows. Find the right location and lose yourself in the moment to really hit that, nail that selfie. <laughs> uh, uh, me angry. There it is. No, me at me, me sad. Normal. Mm, very happy. No. <laughs> I can't hold this pose any longer. Well, it wasn't terrible. Oh my god, I actually blinked. What the fuck? <laughs> he got me mid blink. I don't believe it. Pretty small silly is a little work, sir. Are you not actually not an actually happy person? Well, excuse me. Well, I I, I built my uh, bar up, son. Hey, you asked for my best smile, th and then you come for my life like that. <laughs> no frowning, please. Just keep that grin on your chin and look for forward to the results. <laughs> is this gonna? Is this gonna give me like additional uh, uh, expressions or something? Because I was pointing out earlier how it seems like Yagami didn't have very many uh, different faces there. Unlike Kiryu, who actually could go like, he'd be like slightly happy and then very happy, or slightly angry, or oh, I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> I wonder. Yagami's gonna learn to smile if it fucking kills him. All right, might as well hop in the wet kitchen while we're at it. Get this gravy train rolling. You must say, must say. Ooh, a wet burger. Mm, that sounds yummy. I guess I want to think about changing the name of your restaurant. Got some onion rings though. Mm. <laughs> but nothing. Wait, wait. Is there somebody up here? Where are you hiding them, ma'am? Do you want to be my friend? Do you want to be my friend, ma'am? Ma'am, ma'am. Come back, ma'am. No, ah! no. Ah! Damn it. Oh, oh, he's staying outside. He's waiting for me. Oh no, now I'm scared. I'm a scared. 
Pardon the interruption, but I may have a moment of your time. Uh, sure. Great. My name is Yasuhiro Furuya, and I'm a vamp player, vamp player for the Wet Kitchen, a local burger shop. I'd like to get more acquainted with our customer base and see how they perceive our restaurant. Okay. So he wants to interview me about the restaurant. Should I go through with it? Ron. I could chat for a bit. Thank you. So, what did you want to ask me about? Well, you see, our corporate office is asking us to come up with a new collaboration campaign for each of our stores. But to put it to you plainly, I'm terrible at thinking of new ideas. That's why I decided to take a chance and leave it up to our customers. <laughs> that is a bold move and surprisingly honest. Maybe a little too honest. If your suggestion does get used, I'll make sure to give you some form of compensation as well. But I've rambled on enough, haven't I? Please, let us know what kind of story you'd like to see us cooperate with. Hmm. Getting the chance to influence the local fast food chain is pretty rare. But what would mesh well with Wet Kitchen? Uh, a fast food joint, a cafe, a cabaret club. Oh my god, what the? Well, they, they basically have fast food shit here already, right? So I guess they could collaborate with them, but kind of the same stuff. Cabaret club, bitch! How about a cabaret club? We definitely turn a lot of heads if that's what you're going for. Cabaret club? Well, yes, it would turn heads, but in the wrong direction. It's far too adult oriented for us. And now you mention it, children do come here pretty often. <laughs> My mistake. I'll think of something else. A cafe? A cafe? They're practically all over Camarocho. I'm not entirely sure partying with a cafe would leave a noticeable impression. Perhaps I'll say that for reference. Does seem too impressed. Maybe I should go for. Okay, let's try something else. Fine. <laughs> oh, I wonder where can I pick now? Fine, I guess it was that one. Why not another fast food place? That's the possibility. Though, wouldn't that essentially be pushing for the more of the same thing? That's what I was saying. Well, don't you think it'd be awesome if two rival restaurants ended up working together? But is such a thing even possible? It's practically unheard of in the industry. That being said, perhaps it's all the more, more worth it to try. Yes, you know what? I kind of like the cabaret club idea. I need to come around. Let's get Yosuke in here. He knows all about them cabaret clubs. That's right. I'm going to get you guys the biggest movies. When I'm done with this place, it's going to be called Wet Titty Kitchen. <laughs> Wet Blouse Biscuits. Right? In that case, I'll post this campaign to corporate right away. I'd like to give you a little something in case your idea is used. May I have your name? I'm um, Takayuki Yagami. Let me know what happens, yeah? You bet I will. And if, if and when I hear the good news, I'll contact you right away. All right, sounds good. It would be cool to see two fa what fast food giants could come up with. Hope it turns out well. And hopefully they don't become a corporate conglomerate that takes over the fucking world. But we'll worry about that when the time comes. That was another new person over at the Lullaby Mahjong, too. I, try, I want to go to the apple pie area, though. Go talk to the girl there. I want to see the titties on this chick that Yusuke was talking about. But uh, I might run to somebody as well. Uh, oh. They actually are at the Lullaby Mahjong. Oh, wait. No, this is... Wait. What was this? Oh, no. This is a sexy club. Oh, no. This is, this is this is it. This is actually the this is the person I'm supposed to see. Hey, baby. Oh, wait. You're not, you're not the baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Sir, I'm not the baby either. No, you are. You come here, girl. Get some nice titties on you there, girl. Sir, please stop touching my chest. Hi there. Yes, I'll say it. Welcome to Apple Pie. Would you like to request a hostess? Uh, oh, uh, that would be... No. Hey there, handsome. If you're looking for someone special, why don't you tag along with me? Oh, God. <laughs> How about me? I give all my guys the very best service. Actually, does a girl named Madoka work here? <laughs> What? Y you want to request Madoka John? Oh god. God damn it! Yosuke set me up, didn't he? Her? Of all people? Really? Is there some kind of problem? Um, well, no. But she can be a little. Well, you'll see. So Madoka is available then? Yes, absolutely. I'll reserve your table right away. But please keep in mind, we don't offer return policy. <laughs> I'm sure she'll be just fine. Oh, God. What am I getting myself into? Oh, and put on Yosuke's tab. I see. So you're with Yosuke-san. He got another sucker, didn't he? Okay, understood. <laughs> Tried to get too dejected, hon. At least you won't be drinking alone. Hmm? What was that all about? Oh, God. Might be getting some additional bruises or something. Oh, hello. Um, I'm Madoka. Hi there. I'm Yagami. I, uh, I guess I'll sit right here. N okay, look, you seem normal. But, uh, Shinzato Mado. Oh, another friendship event! 
Oh, that's interesting. A friendship event changing to another friendship event. She's kind of shy. Man, she's quiet. So I'm the one who has to break the ice. So, Madoka-chan, you seem pretty young to be working here. Oh, well, um... Uh, hey, I know. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Why don't you buy us some drinks? Then I might actually tell you how old I am. Maybe. That was pretty blunt up, Cell. I bet she's not much for conversation. So, uh, did you want to order something? Well, Yosuke san did say I could order some drinks to the house, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. Give me your finest champagne. Yeah, I'll be taking one of these, the 20,000 yen one. Nani, are you sure it's the 20,000 yen, you know? Four zeros. Yep, I'm sure. Bring me the good stuff. Let's get fucked up. Wow, thank you so much. Oh God. Ugh, that drink could make a buffalo stumble, but I can still keep going. Mm. Ugh, it's going nowhere. <sighs> Hold on a second, Madoka Chan. I gotta step out and go drunk and fist somebody. You gotta what? It just helps me sober up, all right? It, it, it makes total sense. Ugh, it's going nowhere. Why is she still all clammed, uh -oh. clammed up? I'll take another round of, uh, of that 20 grand. Oh, sure thing. Coming right up. Are you drinking too, lady? Whew, shit's strong. I think I'm a little, I'm a little bit stronger. <laughs> Amazing, you really hold your alcohol well. Are you drinking at all, ma'am? Yeah, oh my God. You're so impressed that I'm <laughs> Gosh, this is weird. It's like I'm talking to a doll. I thought I would know anything about that. <laughs> um, are you gonna ask to, you know, do something with me? Mm -hmm. This is something like what? You, you do know what kind of club this is, don't you? I'm not about that life. <laughs> Let's fudge, baby. I'm just happy talking. Yes, but I find it more fun just to talk. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, Nani, you're actually having fun? Even though you're stuck here? Ooh, with me? Huh. Yeah, so you don't need to worry. I keep my hands, I can keep my hands to myself. Uh, oh. Okay, you're a pretty nice guy. You know that? <laughs> buy me some, buy me some more drinks. <laughs> uh, I was only nervous because I thought you were gonna touch me. Oh, uh, ah, so that's where you're so quiet this whole time. Listen, I know I look kind of fucked up with all these bruises on my faces, but I'm really pretty nice guy. Yeah, my heart was hammering so loudly I could barely hold my, hear my own thoughts, let alone focus on talking. Hmm, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Not that I'm any good at talking to begin with. Can't argue with that. I mean, what would you, what would make you work here even though you don't like talking to people? Well, I thought if, if my customers were only interested in grouping me, I wouldn't have to worry about being all social. That's some strategy you got there. <laughs> Why would you put yourself through that? A nice young girl like you? Well, it's because I'm trying to put myself through school. Ever since my parents back home got sick, I've been paying my own tuition along with all my living expenses. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you're a student then. Mm. That's right. I'm going to college right now. Hmm. Must be difficult handling all that by yourself. Have you tried looking for some scholarships? I have, but the only ones, only offers I get are student loans. With interest rates like that, I'd never be able to repay them. But if I work at a club like this, I could earn a lot in no time at all. That is, as long as I could put up with it. I see. So that's what's going on. Yeah, a lot of college girls end up working in sex shops, you know? I don't want to want to actually get myself to men that way. I chose to work here instead. Jeez, it's a shame that society has put some of you girls in such a tough position. <laughs> you really think so? You're weird. But you know what? I just kind of like you. You're nice to talk to. Hey, <laughs> all right. Huh. You sure that's not just sales talk? Yeah. Of course not. Don't be rude. Besides, you know I'm not that cut that good at talking. You sure about that? If you talk to other customers the way you did just now, I bet a lot of them would be happy. <laughs> Keep that in mind. Oh, this is kind of a cute one. Oh, hey, we went up again. Oh, that was sweet. I liked that. That it really led to a very uh, cute interaction. I thought I thought it was gonna be someone like came out. It was gonna be some really butch guy. Like, hey, what up? What up? Are you Yagami Chan? Uh, Madoka Son? Damn right. Call me Madoka Chan Kun Senpai. Yeah. Uh, okay, Madoka Chan Kun Senpai. Now let's go ahead and get in this. You are a lap dance soldier boy. <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Why are your hands so sweaty? 
because I'm so horny. <laughs> oh, God, oh. Did you enjoy your time with Madoka chan? I hope she didn't offend you in any way. Oh, she was fantastic. I'll definitely be back. I gotta say, really shocking to see Madoka enjoying her time with a customer. Like, what the fuck? What a bitch. She's never like that. Yeah, like the other day, she was so quiet. A customer thought she was a foreigner who couldn't speak Japanese. <laughs> Isn't that right? <laughs> yep. It's the first time I've seen her engaged in a normal conversation like this. It must be pretty smooth, dude. Yeah. Madoka's pretty different from the other girls, but she's a keeper. So if you like her, be good to her, okay? Uh, I'll be sure to. Aw, that was really cute. Well, better report back to Yosuke san. She'll have a thing or two to say. You set me up, you bitch. Oh my god, I am still wasted. All right, first, let me just go ahead and step out and blah. All right, before I do that, let's go check out, uh, thing with my mask friend. God damn it. Oh, well, here's some guys to use my drunken, unleash my drunken anger on. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that, but okay. Oh yeah. Ah, oh, punch your ass. That's where the thief ha helped me out. That seems out of the ordinary, though. Wait. Isn't that him? What the hell? Dude, what are you doing? Gotta get to him before he bails. Oh, Lord. Are we chasing him again? Hey, you! Huh? You're... Hmm? <laughs> Are you here on the trail of certain thieves? I'm a huge fan. Huh? You're a fan? Oh. Yeah, I'm a major thief aficionado. <laughs> Whenever they've been spotted here, I totally had to come down and check it out. My check it out. Wait, so you're not a member yourself? Uh, nah. But I look the part, right? You would believe what I went through to get this stuff. Dude, you can buy that at any fucking Don Quixote. Yeah, but why? <laughs> yeah, but why now? Because just check out these silver accessories, man. 500,000 yen when all the set was done. Eh? You're, you're kidding me, right? What's even the point of wearing that much bling? Well, the ones that the thieves wear cost like a few more zeros. But you can't fault a guy for wanting to dress like his heroes, can you? Oh, so these thieves have a style. Guess even thieves need to make a fashion statement. And yes, I can judge you for that. It's a more recent thing. It used to be a pretty generic. But now they re wear really high-end brands. If it gets as good as them, I guess you can afford it. So I see. The fee they offer was pretty generous, so I could already tell they weren't broke. It's only 50,000 yen, though. Okay, use accessory. May I go check the, uh, uh, the high-end place, whatever it was called? Sorry, man. I c can you ask you to take a snap pic of me? I gotta put some of my chatter. Uh, I'm a little busy for that. Sorry. <sighs> Now this is a dead end. I should try Senrio Avenue. Uh, maybe head to like a Bisu or something? I'm gonna shove this guy off the fucking edge. Screw this. Oh my god. Oh, bad idea. What? Oh my ass. Oh, what the fuck? Am I crazy? That was awesome. Let's do that again. Oh no, there are people down here. I don't know how the fuck I leaped off that and didn't die. Wait, how did I get. Wait. I came up here and then. How, how did I get over there? <laughs> how did I get up there? Can I, I, I'm not sure if I can actually get, can get back up there now. Oh, no way, here we go. The, the stairs around the back actually did take me back up here. <laughs> I wonder if I can, can I actually leap to that other building? Let's try, see if we can do it. Uh, oh, I did it, motherfucker, yeah! That's awesome. Although I did like the more I just fell on my ass. <laughs> And somehow didn't die. Just goes to show you, I would have survived, even if that one dude didn't uh, catch me when I fell down. Remember that? I would have been totally fine. All right, let's get this thing, the triple finisher. A third finishing blow after a double, after a double finisher. Trial, trial, trial after a rush combo. Sounds good. Extend my combos even further. And charging tiger, hold trial during uh, strong attacks. Build power, unleash a devastating attack. Sounds good. All right, almost halfway through all the skills. Hey, stop right there. Mm -hmm. What's going on? Okay, meet up at Comro Theater, Garden Rooftop. Got it! Uh, uh, hold it! Ah, uh, why don't they give us mopeds or something? Are those two in the same group of thieves? <clears throat> Damn it. Uh, no. Did those guys just steal something, officer? Yeah, 
It's a poor woman's handbag. Mm -hmm. Really? What are those th they those thieves are almost talking about lately? I thought they only stole from the unjust. That's a bald-faced lie. Nothing but propaganda. As you can tell, they're <laughs> dopey cop. They're out stealing whatever they can get their grubby bits on. Just or not. It doesn't add up. Those guys are something about meeting at Camaro Theater. Maybe I can catch up to them. Maybe they're posers or something. Just like the guy I met before. Not just fanboys, but just straight up copycats. I think this guy was here before. I'll poke over here and see what this is. Uh, oh. Something up there. What the fuck is that? Is that a person? Kind of tell from down here. Time to let the pigeon spread its wings. Oh. What up, man? I'm Chameleon Man. Look at that ass. Poked out. Uh, ha. I knew it that was a person. But why is he dressed up like a ninja? Oh, no. Oh, ho, ho. So you have discovered me alive! Oh, oh man. I gotta say shit. <laughs> Let's check up on, check on him. Nah, <laughs> be or be an ass and leave. Did it, did it, did it, did nah, I'm just kidding. What is it? Teach me your ninja ways. Teach me how to be a Spider-Man. How impressive. For one, no one has seen past my comedian camouflage and lived to tell the tale. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alas, forget my rudeness. I am known as Ryan Acosta, the number one ninja beneath the rising sun. Be believe it. Oh my God. Are you a fucking Naruto fan, you dork? Allow me to ask thy name. <laughs> that, was, that was totally a motherfucking Naruto reference. Yagami. Then I shall call you Master Yagami. A fitting title for a man such as you, as, of such high caliber. However, there, this will not happen the next time. Believe it. <laughs> Believe it. And now I take my leave. Farewell. There was there a smoke bomb now or something. What the f What the hell was that? <laughs> He's vanished into the night. Where'd he go? Did he show up on the map? I don't see a new one off the bat. He's gonna be around here somewhere. I'm gonna hunt you down, Spider Ninja. Oh, might as well see Yosuke. He's right there next to my... Where I gotta go meet those guys. Oh, God damn it! what? Fine. I will show you my new Tiger Styles power. Come on. Oh, wait. Just hold it down and... Wait. Wait. It's not doing. Do it. Wait, am I holding the wrong button down? What's going on? I'm holding triangle down. Is that what it said? Hold, oh, hold on triangle during strong attacks. Okay, guys, I got to start combo. Oh, there we go. Oh, like that, okay. So it's not really like a charge attack, it's just something you can do in the middle of a combo. That's cool, I actually kind of like that better, to be honest. Just add a little bit more oomph to my, uh, my final hits in the Tiger style. What up, Yosuke? Nah. Yosuke Kun went to visit Madoka chan. Sano. And how was she? Were her tatas not amazing? Yeah, so she didn't seem like the hostess type at all. And or she'll be okay be okay over there. Did she flinch or start crying when you touched her? Or did she just maybe slap you in the face? Mm -hmm. What? No! I didn't lay a finger on her, man. That's not my style. Really? Yagmi san, you're such a good guy. I knew I could count on you. Oh, wait, you're gonna be a long one. Uh, wait, what's going on here? You sent me up to go out with a student, and now you're happy with that we didn't do anything? Whoa, she actually told you she was a student? Man, I'm impressed. <laughs> Damn, that's some sort of short of a miracle. Yeah, I brought her in my fair share of customers, but you're the first she's opened up to. See, Madoka Chan really talks to anyone at work. I doubt she'd tell anyone about her personal life. That's what they call it. They said at the club, too. Yosuke kun, who's Madoka chan to you anyway? You were saying that this is, there was some kind of reason behind all this. Mm, you seem like a trustworthy guy. Wait, I seem like a trustworthy guy, dude. You, you, I've done all this shit for you. Do you remember forget the fucking two cases I've already done for you? Actually makes me wonder then if the final uh Twisted Trio case will actually evolve them at all. Okay, I'll spill the beans. So Madoka chan was actually my senior in high school. Okay. She was really popular because of her huge chest. So we all teased her by calling her Madoka, Madoka, oh my God, that's an amazing nickname. I mean, it's terrible, just terrible, but also hilarious. M Madoka, okay, I just wanna put, have her, I wanna correct you, Yosuke, all right? 
because the ba a badonka donk is a big ass booty boy not a big chest get it right son it doesn't technically make any sense but it's still fucking great great i love it you know like like badonka donk uh. dude that's such a that's such an early 2000s term i thought that word meant yeah yes yes oh my god yagami knows it i thought that word meant ass 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 Ketchum comes flying in here. Yeah, he's right. And I know a thing, a thing or two about asses. <laughs> yeah, well, it was close enough. <laughs> so fucking good. I actually almost wonder how much of that was just added in for the localization, right? If, like, if, if it even was like, if it was even originally a, uh, in Japanese, an ass term. I, I bet it was something they just did for this one. Besides, it's not like she knew the difference. Anyway, Madonka Donk got me through some really hard times, if you know what I mean. <laughs> That's more, more than I care to know, yes, Kay. N no, it's not what I was saying at all. I would never think of her like that, despite the phenomenal size of her melons. I meant that she used to look after me. We were in the same academic club, so we spent a lot of time together. And when I was about to get help back a grade, she intervened by helping me with my schoolwork. I really owe her a lot. So that's why you were so hell bent on helping her. Sounds like a really caring person. Hi. Why didn't you just tell me about this the first time we talked about it? She is. Only thing is, she's not super so sociable, and she can't hold a conversation with a mirror. And that's why she doesn't get too many customers, even though she has to pay for her tuition and who knows what else. <laughs> so I came up with a plan to bring her in, bring in harmless looking guys and get them to request her. Ah, now I get it. Then why don't you support her with all the money you've been making? Yeah. No, there's no way I could damage her sense of pride. But Donkey Donk was never really one to accept charity. But <laughs> I still call her my Donkey Donk. She probably say something like, "Don't worry about Yosuke Kun. I can get by on my own." I understand. Does she know you're working as a barker? Nope. I'm just cheering her on from the sidelines. Oh, no. Now that you know all this, would you maybe pay her a visit on your own? I spent a lot of money on her. And, and, if you have any harmless friends, could you send them my way so I can introduce them to her? Uh. Well, okay. I'll at least give it some thought. <laughs> Yagami -san. Oh, Yagami saw you should not being bombarded with boobage. Better I try to trick me this time. Or perhaps you found a trustworthy companion who won't do anything too naughty? Mm. Mm? Do I even know any guys like that? Oh! <gasps> oh, hey! I, I can start sitting in like... Wait, can I start saying... Wait, Hoshino... Oh, wait, no, these are... Kinda, these are just main characters, never mind. I think. Hoshino is the goofy guy. Uh, Not Kaido. Probably <laughs> nobody. I think Hoshino is the young guy from before, right? Hoshinikun? Wait, that won't work. Sayori san found out she'd never speak to either of us again. <laughs> Probably gonna need to find someone who can keep this whole thing discreet. Mm. Uh, Genda Sensei. <laughs> the old man. Sure, Genda Sensei could use a break every now and then. Or not. I don't want to imagine the look on his face in front of a pair of what Madoka chan has. <laughs> in that case, Kaido. Oh, what about Kaido san? Nah, I bet he's an animal with the ladies. Yeah. He totally tried to cop a feel. In fact, he'd probably try for more. Please, no. I wouldn't want anyone like that even near Madoka-chan. Yeah, you're right. Okay, who else? Literally nobody. Sorry, I can't really think of anyone. Uh, I see. So you only have preferred friends then? Well, yeah, I'm looking one right now. Touche, Yagami-san. Not exactly, but... Hmm, you're right. That's the case. Then let me know if you make any trustworthy comrades who can help our mission succeed. Oh, interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, this really is going to be a long-term one. But I can still go hang out with her myself, right? Uh, okay, wait. Wait, where am I going? Over here? That's where those two purse snatchers were going to meet up. Let's close. Is that Thumb? Who close one. Yeah, I told you it was a bad move, man. We're just robbers now. Thought we were gonna steal some steal from the wicked. Isn't that Crow's full philosophy? Maybe it was. But that hypocrite doesn't practice what he preaches, so why should we? Mm -hmm. What? That's what I read on the net too. But it's really, it's really true. Well, he's he, here's what I heard, man. Basically, he got offered a job by some big corporation to steal cigarettes from their competition. The money they offered was so good, the senior members knew they couldn't turn it down. So they took it and then split the profits. And none of them made it down to grunts like us. What about Jester? He would never do that. Would he? No way. Jester's not like that. So what they told us about how he quit over the profit splitting. Think that's true? No way, man. He didn't like how Crow was running the show, so he split. Damn, dude. 
<laughs> I still say Jester's an idiot, too. Just because you claim you're a righteous thief doesn't mean you're not going to do time if the cops catch you. So what's the point? May as well try to come out ahead. I guess, but you think the rest of the crew knows all this? I don't think newbies do. They all buy into Crow's lies and they think Jester's actually missing. So I say we keep getting better. Help Crow cuss us in on the next big job. Good to play as any, right? Wait a sec. Yeah, fuck it. Can't do this anymore. I'm gonna quit. Let's just turn myself in. Wait, what am I doing? What am I talking about? No, I spent this money. Oh shit! Sounds like this client's been trying to play me. Just there's a missing. Just quit because his group got hijacked by this crow guy. If I had to guess, crow's motivation for looking for Jester, well, it couldn't be good. Ooh. I think me and my client need to have a discussion. Uh oh. Oh, there's the ninja guy. He's right over here. Avoid the side case. I see it's over there. Just don't walk into it, walk into it yet. I'm not ready for you yet, ninja man. Where are you? You up here? You on the roof again? Uh. Let's see, behind this thing? Wait, what? It says he's right here. I don't see it though. I, play the, I guess I have to play darts to, do, to get him out. I guess I'll do it. This is probably exactly the same as before. Uh, yep. Yeah. Sure looks like I got beginner darts, but now nah, I've got the better one. Standard darts. Uh, all right, let's go with the uh, count up. Actually, it's a, it's a little different though, in terms of the the style of it. I mean, the ninja's right there, and I just can't see him. Yeah, actually, this that's right. This is this is just like Kwame 2's version of it. So no twisting of my wrist at all. Boom! Double ball. Oh yeah, baby. Hat trick. Yo sha. Okay, did that do anything? Oh, what the fuck? It what? It was it. And Ryan appears in the shadows. <clears throat> well done, Master Yagami. Your shurikens are quite something to behold. Oh look, it's Ryan. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Whenever I see such a skilled da dartistry, I get overwhelmed by memories of trading back in my homeland. Mastering the shuriken is essential to the ninja arts, you see. I once honed this skill with my comrades every day. Alas, shurikens were difficult to procure in the States, so I often would practice using darts. Oh, wait, there's a ninja school in the United States? Nani the fuck? Mm. Indeed, it is an authentic Japanese dojo run by an authentic Japanese person. <laughs> I'm not sure what part of that sentence makes your school actually authentic. But hey, what do I know? It all boils down to this, Master Yagami. I wish to challenge you to a one-on-one -on -one duel of darts. You want to play dar darts, huh? Fine. I just got done playing, though. Sure, I'll play along. It's expected of the man. No, the samurai, whom I hold in high regard. So all you want is to play a game of darts? Oh, this is more than a simple game. It's a favorable match that will decide the course of history. Believe it. Believe it. Swear to God, dude. Okay, what are we playing? Okay, right, I'm good. I can pick. Let's do count up. Takuyuki versus. Katasudana. Oh god, he's got I think fancy darts. Maybe he'll give me his darts if I beat him or something. Oh, barely got it. I'm guessing the darts just make the sweet spot bigger or something. Nice one. Not really though. All right. We'll see what you got, Ryan. Triple 13. Oh, just shy of me. All right, let's go for the big one, big, the big points. Or not. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bitch. Ha! You ain't got shit on me, bitch! And technically, it's actually better to land on the, the triple 20 than it is actually to get a bullseye. Well, actually, if you get, if you get the, the center bullseye, you get a double bull, so you get 100 points, so... And then he manages to get <laughs> three perfect bullseyes and wins. Your shuriken skills suck, Naruto! Ha! I win! Magasetsuru! 
I'm your god now. What? <laughs> what? What sorcery is this? I actually lost a shuriken. You mean dart. Uh. Now, I don't believe it. <laughs> you see, I was undefeated in shuriken back at the academy. Am I still lacking in something? More rigorous training, perhaps? I suppose I should take my leave once again. Farewell, master. Huzzah! Yes, huzzah to you too. Okay, I think next one's the last one. This guy hurts my ears. <laughs> Just like the real Naruto. Wait, what? What the fuck? He's back there again? Is he outside or did he go back inside again? Oh, yeah, here we go. Yeah. What the hell, man? Huh? Huh? The one that bumped into me. Yeah. Show's totally busted. Bet some apology money would fix me right up. Uh, yeah, right. Nothing but a scam artist. A crappy one at that. Uh, you say my pain sh ain't shit to you? But what I gotta do to make you understand? Pound through your skull. Try it and see what happens. Hey, boys. We got ourselves a, wit a wise ass here. Gotta show us fucking what happens when he doesn't pay his dues. Pucker up, asshole. Pucker up your asshole. Don't say it like that, please. I'll show you what true power is. Oh, look at that! Oh, kick it, kick it, kick it! Oh, there's the triple finisher! Woo! Oh, yeah. Boom. Ah, dead. Son of a bitch, this guy's insane. Let me see you around here again. Nah, my boys, we're out of here, man. <laughs> they run right into that freaking median and stay out. Ning, ning. That fierce style, those fancy moves, Master Yagmi, What did you did just now? Was nothing sort of incredible? Oh, Ryan, you're watching the whole time. <laughs> so you finally noticed. I'm a bit disappointed it took you so long. Then again, I am a ninja who lives in the shadows. Dude, you're not even you're not even dressed in black. But I will concede this: every time we test our wits and metal, I pulled back out on consideration. Think of it as a series of training exercises, if you will. But And I admit, you are quite skilled. But all that ends now. I propose to you a final test of strength. Let us reveal an about of martial arts. But say you, are you ninja enough? Nope, bye. <laughs> I accept. I will become the true Hakage. If I go through with this, will you be done with all your ninja anime bullshit? <laughs> Never. But I could, dial it, I could dial it down a bit, at least around you. You have earned my ninja respect. All right. Then I'll teach you what a real fight is. <laughs> Oof, that's my line. <laughs> now then, let us, this be a showdown for the ages. Oh, oh motherfucker, what? You have a knife? That's not fair. Being a ninja isn't about being fair. Yeah, screw this. Oh, yeah. It's kind of hard to do the, the charge thing, though. Like, I find it, like, I'm holding down triangle. And he didn't even hit me. I'm like, hold on, trying when I do my finishing moves, and this seemed to be coming out. I... I failed. You failed mega bad, too. You had a knife, and you couldn't even stab me one time. Why? Why can I not defeat you? If only I had used my dark doppelganger delusion. You mean your shadow clone jutsu. Just fucking say it, all right? We know what it is. Would have been two against one. Uh. Or I could use my substitution clones to draw away your attacks. What about your Rasengan? Blast. Now I'm all out of chakra energy. You leave me no other choice. Here goes. Master Yagami, I beg of you. Take me under your wing as your ninja apprentice. Oh, no, guys, Shimasu! <laughs> Dude, you are the weebiest Japanese guy I've ever met. No, fuck off. Eh? What? Teach me how to be the ultimate ninja warrior. I'll call you master till the day I perish in this world. That would be disturbing. And besides, I'm not even a ninja. It matters not. It might not matter to you, but it sure as hell does to me. <laughs> well... I didn't hear a no, so I guess we're set to go. <laughs> From now until the sun sets permanently on this beautiful land, I swear to vanquish all enemies of the Yagami clan. Oh, you gonna fight guys for me? 
<sighs> well, I still wouldn't mind a helping hand every now and then. Do I really want a guy who thinks he's a ninja follow me around? Ha! I'm gone! Well, <laughs> too late to back out now. <laughs> Yay? It's just gonna randomly come out and help me or something? It's gonna help find my battles for me. All right, guys, this seems like a good place to end things here for now. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this episode, and also hopefully you enjoyed the new uh, uh, acoustics of my microphone here. Let me, let me know what you guys think. But uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe and already become Piggy Penguin. Or this will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And oh, hey, cat guy, hi there. Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy.